Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here, and if you guys remember a while back, I showed you how to get uh, the 4.0 GM seed on uh, any of your iDevices except the iPad, and basically that's just for more 4.0 for Goldmaster accounts, so basically you don't have to have your UDID registered with Apple, and all you have to do is just restore to the firmware. So uh, now when I made that video it was for Mac only, but uh, iTunes 9.2 came out for uh, the PC, and also in addition to that, uh, Red Snow has been made available for the PC as well. So in order to do this, first you're going to have to have iTunes 9.2. And in order to get iTunes 9.2, just go to their website. I'll have a link to this in the description. Just pick uh, whether you're on a 64- or 32-bit operating system and then download it, install it, reboot, and then after that you're going to have to download your 4.0 firmware and go to this website. Just scroll down, pick your device, and I have the iPhone 3G, so I just got mine from right here, and I just downloaded mine from Hotfile. And once you have those things, you can go ahead and plug in your iDevice and open up iTunes. Okay, so once iTunes has loaded up and you have your iDevice plugged in, all you're going to have to do is hold down the home and the power button on it and just continue holding the home and power button. And basically we're trying to get into recovery mode. So all you have to do is continue holding them even past when it starts to look like it's going to boot up and, and go into the booting process. You just keep holding until you end up seeing the little iTunes logo with a USB plugged into it. So I just got that now. And it's saying I have my iPhone plugged in and it's in recovery mode. And now all I'm going to have to do is hold down Shift and click Restore. If you're on a Mac, you have to hold down Alt and click Restore. But this tutorial, I'm going to uh, specifically stay with PC. So just do that and then find where your firmware is. Mine is right there. And then as you can see it says iTunes will erase and restore iPhone to iOS 4.0. And then do I want to verify this? And I'm just going to click yes. And I'll be back when it's made some progress. Okay, so now it's finished extracting the firmware and it says preparing iPhone for restore. And my iPhone just showed a white screen for a second then went dark. And now it's showing somewhat of a black screen. Now it's going into like a boot logo sort of thing. And right about now it's giving me a little pinwheel at the bottom. And now it's giving me the little status bar for my firmware restore. So I will be back when uh, the restore has finished. So now it says restoring iPhone firmware. And on my iPhone the progress bar is almost at the end. So I'm just going to stick with this until it's done. And as you can see, it's done and it says your iPhone has been restored to factory settings and it is restarting. Please leave your iPhone connected. It will appear in iTunes or in the iTunes window after it restarts. And before I actually show it to you guys with my camera, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak it. Now, this jailbreak that I'm showing you guys only works for the iPhone 3G along with the iPod Touch second generation non-MC model not the MC model. If you're unsure if you have the MC or non-MC, Google it and there is a way to figure it out. Also, as of now, there is no reliable unlock for uh, the baseband that 4.0 puts on your iPhone. So if you don't have a legit carrier, please do not attempt this. And it's saying iPhone accessing iTunes store and now my iPhone is activated. So I'm just going to minimize this and you're going to have to have Red Snow to jailbreak it. So in order to get Red Snow all you have to do is just go to this website. I'll put a link in the more info and then just scroll down and then click Windows or Mac if you're on that. Then once you have that downloaded you're just going to open it up and you're going to need WinRAR. I'll have a link to that in the more info as well and then just go to this folder and then just drag the redsnow.exe out there and then just run it and then click browse and you're going to browse for that same firmware you restored to the 4.0 GM and then click next and wait for it to uh, finish preparing the jailbreak data now enable multitasking and wallpaper is enabled with this version of Red Snow because uh, as you guys probably know the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch second generation are two of the devices that got left out of the uh, 
wallpapers and the multitasking but with this it enables it and it's checked off by default you can uncheck it if you want but I want to leave it checked install Cydia I'm, I'm obviously gonna leave that checked because that's the whole point of jailbreaking and custom boot logo and recovery logo I'm not gonna worry about I'm just gonna click next and then it says only continue when your device is powered off and plugged in so I'm gonna power it off and I'll be back when it's finished turning on okay so it's turned off and I'm gonna click next and basically what it's gonna have you do is hold down the power button for five seconds then start holding the home button for uh, 10 seconds and then let go of the power button and continue holding the home button for 30 seconds so I'm just not gonna talk when it's asking me to do it I'm just gonna do it so I'm just letting you guys know okay now usually it doesn't take 30 seconds when you're just holding the home button usually this message goes away at about uh, 20 seconds remaining as you can see it just went away right about now and that was at 19 seconds so yeah it's okay to let go when that message goes away and I'm gonna be back when it's finished jailbreaking and I'll show you guys so now it's saying the rest of this process takes place on your device and it's giving me the little pinwheel at the bottom and now it just started going into the loading screen where it uh, tells you that it is basically jailbreaking it and it's applying all the patches and whatnot so I'm gonna be back when it's been successfully jailbroken okay guys so it just finished jailbreaking and I'm gonna unlock it and I'm going to go to my settings general and then about and I'm gonna scroll down and show you that it is indeed on 4.0 as you can see right there it says 4.08A293, which is the GM version. And also, as you can see, I have custom backgrounds enabled because it gives a little bubbly thingy. And there's the folder, and I'm going to show you multitasking is right there. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty amazing. And one quick thing about Cydia in order to get Cydia to work, you're going to have to open it and then. Uh, once it's opened, you're going to have to add a source that you know, such as cydia.hackulo.us. And then once you've added a uh, source, you're going to have to exit it. And then you're going to have to go back into Cydia and add another source to get all your other sources and packages to work. And also to get your uh, updates to work. And yeah, once you've done that, that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys like this video. If this helped at all, please subscribe. And this is ICU2 signing out.